Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Satter's Factory 1.0. And today's video, well... Well, actually, let's just talk about last week's video, or last time's video. Because now I have power. All the power in the world. Yay! And now it's time. Time to figure out what is next. What is next in our journey? Well... I spent so much time designing and I love designing. I love it. I love it. OCD, pretty pictures, all that wonderful stuff. So I thought, hey, it'd be time. We need to start our mid tier factory. And then I'm like, but, but I would like to relax a little bit. And you know what would be great to relax? Building something completely useless, but overall fun. So that's what I'm going to do. In this episode, I am just going to build something. And what am I going to build? I'm going to build a house. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much the last couple playthroughs I've had over here is Paradise Island. Yay. And I built over here a house. So I thought, wouldn't that be nice again to have a house where I can put my hub and my chair so I could spawn in and everybody can see it and it'll be great. So I'm going to do that. And before I do, let me grab this junk. Let me grab, ooh, 40 more tickets. Mine. And let's unlock one fun thing. I want the boom box. Hello, Mr. Boom box. Bye. It is speculated that, in the earliest days of humanity, people created drums and similar instruments to derive pleasure and social unity from the rhythmic sounds, accompanied by gyratory movements. Yeah. Congratulations for unlocking a device that, thousands of years later, fulfills exactly the same function, except with a requirement for rare metals and plastic components. Yeah, take that, resources. All right, now which one do we want? I know we want all of them. But I'm curious. Does Ada say something for every single one of them? In the early days of the Save the Day program, when I was still in Alpha, Aww, some of the baby employees Ada. would store their personal musical projects on my servers. In a way, this was the music I was conceived to. Oh my enjoy. God. Bumping and grind. I mean, yeah. Alright, well, we got Joel. Who's Joel? A fix-it engineer who specialized in robotics disappeared one day, leaving behind a mixtape and a highly advanced but inoperable robot. It would wake up whenever it was alone and play the mixtape, sending copies to fix-it employees under the name Joel Anderson. <laughs> the robot eventually escaped with a machete, a factory cart, what? and a plastic bag filled with peach iced tea. I always admired that robot, so I kept the music. Joel's out there keeping it alive. Keeping people unalive? God damn it, that's crap. What kind of robot does that? Oh, uh, oh, this is Le Michael. If it said if Joel was Le Michael, it'd be Machete Mike. Oh my God, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I want to hear all these now. When humanity started to research cloning, it was thought to be humane to play music for gestating clones to distract them from any potential identity crises. Seems legit. It was also an attempt to make them smarter and more creative, which did not work. Seems legit. This cloning program was cancelled after too many of its scientists disappeared. What? What? So, Le Michael is about cloning? Interesting. All right, Sanctum, let's go. How did this get here? I thought I destroyed all of these. Well, you suck at your job. That's how I got there. All right, next one. This playlist was made to motivate pioneers to defend their factories from hostile alien life forms more efficiently. Nice. Thankfully, we developed a repellent that's since been mixed into all fix-it paint. Oh, that's why they don't come into my base, because I smell. All right. Anything for the goat? 
In ancient times, humans would occasionally pretend to be goats while listening to the music recorded on this tape. <laughs> it was considered high culture, the likes of which humanity might never see again. I love it. I love it. Now we do have 101 more tickets, which means I could get a lizard doggo statue, but I, I think it's... You know what? Wait, wait, wait. We're going to save the statues for when I'm done building the house and have like a room to put it in. So, yep. Should we go over to Paradise Island? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I don't think I need anything else. Uh, but the real question is why Paradise Island? Not why was it called Paradise Island? Because, you know, it is. <gasps> oh my God, I totally forgot. Do I still have it on me? By the way, the waterfalls in this game are loud. Kind of like real waterfalls. So, yes, I have solid biofuel. And the chainsaw. There we go. Let's switch this out for the object scanner. Welcome to Paradise Island. Now, the nice thing about the chainsaw is it has single mode that's right it's single and ready to mingle which means i can aim at specific things like this tree and normally i could pick it up but this one i cannot but with single chainsaw it kills it compared to uh area where if i get this everything around me goes now why is this so important well i want to build a house over here and I want to incorporate some of the landscape. But I'm wondering, do I just clear some area or go for it? Hmm. You know what? I know what's first. What's first? I have to find a reference. Let me find a reference and see if I can come up with a good one. All right, so I'm searching up some modern home designs, trying to see if there's anything that kind of just like screeches out at me. But then the other thing is I'm trying to figure out if any of it I can utilize in that area. Because like I'm looking at it and I'm like, what do I want to do? Do I want to have like the steps out here kind of leading up? Uh, I think the easiest thing to do is probably if I grab some foundations and start placing foundations and then figuring out the actual floor plan. So like, let's go, should I aim west? There we go, so something like this might be like the first one. Oh, and then before I do, do I have, oh yeah. There should be a button that allows me to revert all of them to their original ones. So pipes, or pipes, concrete structures, so concrete, and then concrete wall. Is coated concrete per the, yeah, okay, maybe. Uh, foundations, so fix it foundations, standard, and vehicles. Okay. Looks like normal. So we'll start off like this. Should I go all the way over? Huh. So my goal right now is just to put in a foundation. And then, then I can use, oh, wrong error. Let me put in a foundation first, see where I got going on, see how much space I have. And then see if I want to do any, like, curves or whatnot. Crap. I made a mistake. I switched over to area thinking that, oh, it'll leave these trees over here, right? Nope. <laughs> Gotta be careful, because, like, it's like, okay, like, let's see this one. All right, area. Like, it might accidentally take some of the ones I don't want. Ooh. Okay. And then I'm thinking, what if I leave a little bit of trees over here? Let's see, this one. This one, definitely go bye-bye. 
try to keep that nice thing going down here. Oh, this landscaping with this is definitely. It, I'm glad they added the single mode, but oh, it's painful when you want perfection. <laughs> I really want this rock out of the way, and I wonder. Hell yeah! Take that rock. Wait, can I get this rock? I want to I wanna get the rock without blowing up. There we go. Now that's I uh, clear an area. Now, granted, the trees there's a little bit still left, which is good. Uh, ooh, I wonder if I can. So we're gonna try, let's, let's try this. There we go. I don't know how bad that'll be, but let's go. So yeah, so if this is my house, I would be coming over here. This would be like the entrance, like the main walkway. But then I would probably want to go inward just a little bit. And yeah, probably get rid of this. Oh, no, did I, I had area mode on, damn it. Okay, now it's time to design a floor. So let's go one meter. Let's uh, go coded. We're gonna zoop this across. Something like that. That'll be a good floor. Then what I want to do is I want to delete this. And we're going to press H to hold. And we're going to bring it back towards me one and over one. It's going to kind of stick it out. Oh, come on. Do it. Uh -uh. There we go. Oh, I have it on zoop. There we go. We're going to get rid of you. And then we're going to get rid of this bottom part right here. So mostly when you see foundations and stuff like that, they usually have like this little thing where they stick out just a little bit. And then the main structure that is on top. That is what I'm looking at. Oh, this is perfect because then it goes like that and it goes much easier. Yeah. And then you go over and then does that stick it? Oh, perfect. Okay, so some corners don't look right. So we'll delete that and we'll put you H to hold. We're going to put you in. Delete this one and then we'll kind of figure out something to go in there. All right, let me figure that out. All right, on to the next part. See this corner over here? I don't really want it to be a corner. I would love it to be rounded. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go one, two, three, four, two, three, four, and we're gonna get rid of that. Then this one that's on here, we're gonna hold control, we're gonna rotate it. Let's see, one, two, let's try three. Okay, unfortunately, three does not work. We're going to have to go two. We'll see how well that does. A little bit over the edge. But to be honest, not terrible. Okay, and then we're going to go up there again and we're going to do this a couple more times. And because it's only like a 90 degree thing, it's not too bad. Okay, then all we gotta do is hit vertical. Well, default, then we can do vertical. And then all I gotta do is just bring it down. And then we have two options when it comes to this corner. We can leave the corner with concrete the way it is. That is a possibility. So like they set the foundation and they made it concrete and they just left it or we can do a cut corner that matches the rest of this. Get rid of the rest of this. 
So no matter how I want to put this, I'm probably going to have Zed fighting. So default, 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 and default. Unless there might be one way. Oh, autosave. Let's go into foundation. Let's go into ramp. Of course, switch it over to coded. We're going to find each one of these and default. Oh. Mm. Should have done that. Should not have done that. Thank you, Hagrid. People are always like, oh, those are cool designs, but the design oh. sometimes takes a bit to get right. So yeah, there's a there's a there's an idea. I don't like it. I don't like these kind of cutting like that. Mm, so we're gonna get rid of that. I know. Just spent time doing it. So let me think what would be the best way. So what do we have? We have this one is the 90 degrees, so we'll we kind of just see how many we have going across. That is nine. So what if... So one's right, then skip one, two, then go another one. Skip one, two, then another one. And then what you do is you grab a ramp. And then what you do is you treat this as like, say, the sun room, because it looks like kind of like a sun. And then if you want, you can leave it the material that you had it, or if you want to match it up, that's up to you. I'm going to match it up. I might color it a bit. That might help it out. Or what if I got rid of this and went this way with it? See, that's like, that's my best way of fighting, uh, doing the Zed fighting. <laughs> okay. Now for out here. Okay, 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 okay. So this is what I was talking about. See what happens is you can keep the corner out here, but if you don't want this corner to look, uh, lame, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna kill off everything that's over here right now. Then you're gonna grab one of these and you're gonna make sure you're on default H. Press the back arrow. H, press the back arrow. So on and so forth until crazy. There we go, it's nice and rounded. Now putting up walls, oh boy, that's going to be another story. Okay, so we got this rounded corner. Get rid of this for right now. And then all we need to do is figure out this little corner piece. What we can do, let's see. There we go, now I got my corner nook. Now the next thing up is going to be walls. <laughs> and it's also the reason why we left this over here. Because what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to walls. We're going to start off with the basic wall. And we're going to aim at this one on the bottom. And we're going to... Oh, yeah. And then, of course, this rounded one is going to have to be default just to get it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on, little buddy. And then we can go back to... This is why it's so important to make the one right here to be like completely accurate like this floor this is the one that i pulled out and has gaps and i'll fill those gaps later in a minute but it's important to have the floor that you're actually going to be using be accurate oh and then the other thing is i'm wondering if i should make this diagonal but no if this is the entrance way this is the living room we can have like the kitchen right here yeah we're gonna 
kind of keep it. And the sun's going down, so I'm going to play with some walls in the middle of the night and then load it back up or start the recording back up when it's daytime. So give me a second. All right. I, I, I know I said I'd turn it on back when it's going to be daytime, but I want to do something and I want to show you guys how I'm doing it because it's very important that it gets shown correctly. I'm going with the two meter one. Can I aim at the bottom of this? Can I, can I get it? Can I get it? Can I? Come on. You're going to let me. Really? Wow. This is. This is difficult. Okay. Okay. Let me switch over to this. Okay. So that works. We'll put you over here. We'll put you over here. I'm going to go with the two meter stairs. We're going to put H to hold. And then let's go in one, two, three. Three. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Oh, by the way, I switched all these to uh, whatever the hell this is. Uh, steel walls. Yeah. So what if I did that? And then... Two. Then we'll bring... Uh, five. Come on. Pull one underneath. Or, eh, uh, what if we did a half one right here? And then, oh. The only thing I don't like about it, I would like a half foundation stairs. Like the stairs right here, that's fine. That looks good. And then I could take this and I could make this into like a half foundation. And then something like that. And then I could put a kind of doorway here. So like if I went to walls and then I have doors unlocked, like I could put, oh yeah, like something like this. And then I could walk into my house. Are right, really, really? Am I not real? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is going to be annoying. Oh, there's there's a way. So we used to do the old stairs. So architecture. And then you have the frame floor. And then we're going to go vertical. There we go. And then I grab the one meter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go. Nope. We're going to default. Default. Yep. This will be fun. Contractually obligated fun, fun, fun. Okay. So. We'll go this way. H to hold. And then we will use the arrow keys to place it. Okay. Bam. And delete it. Put another one. H to hold. Arrow keys. Perfect. Yeah. So, although we have been given stairs, that doesn't mean that we don't still need to know how to make stairs. Uh, but although half stairs would have been great if they had added those in, but I understand that they can't add in every little bit of a whim that we have. Though it would be nice. There we go. Perfect. I got stairs going up here. So yeah, now it's really dark out. I'm going to go figure some of stuff out. Just kind of little things and then I'll be back during the daytime. Okay, so I got the stairs over there. Not too bad. And this will allow me to go down to the beach where I'm going to make a private beach area. Now, as for this top part, um, we'll do we'll do the curve one first. So normally what I like to do is I like to grab some like windows for this like curve part. And then I 
bring it in just one, but uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do half a one. So to do that, H to hold, hold control, and then go, and that'll get it uh, just in like one notch. Okay, so that'll do that. Then we actually need some walls over here. We're gonna just do temporary walls for right now, which is going to ooh. Bollocks. Now the only problem with this is once you get to the edge because I brought these in Sure, they kind of go in just a little bit, but now this end one kind of has to go control over Kind of merges in there it, it, it works. It's just I mean, actually, yeah, you won't even see it. So it's not too bad. Not too bad. So we're going to do some walls, and then I'm going to kind of go around and figure out where I want everything to be. All right, so H to hold, control to and over. All right, wait, wait, what? I got it, I got it. Okay, so let's do there, or do we do one? No. Let's do that, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we have this nice little doorway kind of right here. Almost want to get rid of, I wish we could have it like a little bit higher, but then let's grab some glass. Oh, buddy. I kind of wish it was enough glass to fit here and there. We might have to do a double glasser. That would be one. You know what? Let me just get rid of these on the side. Turn off my flashlight because it's kind of causing problems. Bring this one over. See, the only problem with this one is now we have a black line kind of coming over here. So, oh, you know what would be cool? I don't know if I could do it, though. If I could make lights. What if I went into organization? And we got even like a one meter one. Almost, almost. We got to play around with it a little bit, but we can kind of make a pattern going around there and then that'll make those little lights. All right, here we go. I got some walls up, but I haven't decided exactly what's going on. <laughs> so over here, I'm thinking that this area here is going to be my out door area like grilling or not where you can actually just look over and you can like look onto the beach and for that i need a little bit of these but there's a the thing so here's what you do so put one of these h to hold control to bring back and then over h to hold bring back bring over Get rid of those. Grab you one of these. Boom, boom. There we go. So what this now does is this puts a glass... I don't want to say fence, but it's kind of like a fence. It's like a glass barrier. And then I'll leave this one open because people are going to be like, oh, I'm coming down here to go to the beach. And then uh, let's put this over here. I wonder if we should turn this to metal. Okay. And the reason I say that is so that we could have this as our like grilling area. And then this right here will be our outside bar. I had this before and it looked really cool. Then the other thing is, we're gonna do this. We're gonna zoop that across. Yeah. And then we're gonna go on the outside. We're gonna zoop this across. And the reason this is a one meter one across there is, well, how do I put this? Um, I'm gonna put more uh, foundations up. So anything with a second floor 
I could put a foundation over here. Although, is that too short? Mm. That should be relatively good. And there we go. Okay. So we have the entrance way that comes over here. And this will be the front of the house. I want to redo these state uh, foundations to make this a little bit different. But basically, you come in here. This is going to be the main entrance. Uh, and then this comes into here. This is going to be the living room slash office. We're going to come over here. We're going to have the kitchen. I could put the bathrooms upstairs. Because what I can do is I can go like you over here. And I misclicked. No. Something like this. Go into architecture. Grab us a catwalk stair. And then have that come down. Something like that. All right, let me play around and see what I come up with. All right, I tried some stuff out. First of all, I put some stairs over here and I have some ramp walls going up. So kind of giving us to the ability to go to the second floor, which is nice. Uh, I went where a diagonal over here, which is really annoying because I tried to put a corner ramp down here and then another corner ramp, but I had to go the two meter one. So I was like, oh, I just put some lights on here. Doesn't light up Jack Diddley squat though. Just crazy. Um, I did put in some windows over here, giving this a much brighter view, letting us see out into the oasis. So this entryway is looking good. Uh, the kitchen. I want to take this away right here and this one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few walls right there. And then it's over here. Do buddy. We'll do that one. Again, we'll do this. And then uh, And then this is that little like um what do you want to call it? Uh, where you can pass food right through and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into organization and we're gonna find signs and uh, Actually what I can do is just put a one meter one right there grab some shines Hold control And there we go something like this so now it's like I'm passing food through. And it's a little countertop. And then I can even. Can I? I can kind of connect it together. Although, would it be better if it was like backwards? H to hold, press the up arrow, and holding control. Get rid of this one, this one, and this one. Nah, that looks like I would just bang my knee against something. So, something like that. Wish the lighting could have been better in here. We need indoor lighting, we really do. And then this out here, I was like, hmm, because I kind of do want it to go diagonal. And then we're going to do the one, zoop that across, and then this one up here. And then I'm going to fix that so it doesn't look like total garbage. Two, and then two. Two, and then two, and then actually, you know what I'm going to do? Get rid of all this. So we are going to go into our walls. Let's go with this one. Go metal. 
go to default default we're gonna do this one as metal default default that does look cool I wonder if I should go glass then or no and then Why would I get rid of the black line? Why wouldn't the black line be over it? I don't know. Ooh, and then what happens if I switch it to... Okay, so yeah, someone was saying that was right, where apparently the new walls... So like, this one works. But if I switch over to this one... Yeah, that one works. But then switch over to hexagon. Hexagon does not work. So hexagon is not bestagon. Although that doesn't mean I can't just take, like, the little thing that's right there. I can't take the diagonal one and fix it, but yeah. All right, let me mess around with some more stuff and see what I come up with. This is fun. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? Good morning. I've been working all night. Well, technically the, the game night, but yeah. So we have come up with a beautiful entranceway, a nice modern design. Uh, I made sure that every single one of these foundations that are used for the roof, they match up with the bottom. So, for example, this looks like it sticks out. And the reason for that is because I want it to match up with this and not the walls. Now, granted, the second floor does match up with the walls, but that's beside the point. And then we got this. I went with some nice curved stairs making, you know, there. Uh, I got these little podiums here, which is going to be great for putting stuff down when we do decoration. And then the next thing up is going to be trying to figure out, like, do I extend this over here? Actually, yeah, I think I can just do that right now real quick. Come on. And there we go. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. So entrance way. Here we go. Uh, yep. I was able to put the label signs going here using a beam on the other side. Uh, not bad. I mean, I wish I could do something on this side too. And then of course I went with the sign in the middle and then I could do some lighting over here later. Lighting's going to be in the next video when I do detailed work and stuff like that. But this is the general consensus. This is my open area for like entranceway. And this is going to be designed to have like trophy room and stuff like that. So trophies might be up against this wall or something like that. That's what I'm thinking. I want to hear your comments down there to see exactly what you think this room should go. Any ideas? What kind of items you think need to be built in here? And then we come into this area, this over here, we got the kitchen that's going to be over here. I'm going to go for some nice, beautiful kitchen. Uh, then we got the living room slash office. So I'm probably going to build my office area over here. Or this might be the couch with like a big screen TV on here. Or the couch up against this wall with the TV looking that way. Because, oh, that's glorious. You never want the light to come in through a TV. But with the skylights, ooh, that works so good. And the lighting in this game is killer. I love this. I could just look off into the distance. And I'm so glad I left some trees here. They they really do make this place look like it was like actually built with the landscape. Uh yeah, then we got the top floor going on here. I'm gonna maybe put something in this corner. I don't know what to put in the corner. Uh, and then you come out here, uh, redid this just a smidgen. So now this is where the gorilla is going to be. Uh, I got these inverted ramps on the wall to look like they hold the overhang. 
And then this is going to be the outdoor, um, what do you want to call it? Like a bar, like an outdoor bar. And then I'll have like a table, maybe like a fire pit or something like that. And then you look off in the distance and then there's the private beach. Oh, I did add in some basic walls, some ramps over here. This kind of makes the stairs look a little bit more realistic. And it actually kind of takes away some of the Zed fighting that was on the side walls. Which does look really cool out here, although it does blend in a little bit, which I kind of like. And then you got this beautiful beach area. We're going to put like a wall up there of glass or kind of like just posts. Let's say warning, because I don't know how far we can go before it basically says you're going to die. I feel like we can go further than before, which is kind of cool, because if, like, if I go up here, maybe I want to put something up here that says don't go this way. <gasps> Although this is like this is beautiful because i don't have advanced game modes as you can see there's no advanced game modes on here so this is actually where you could go someone could have built something in here oh my god the fact that they let us go this much further out is just awesome i might do something over here i, I, I didn't know we were given more freedom I mean, this is kind of cool. It's like a little cave part that like you can like swim to or whatnot. Oh, I love it. And then the hidden house in the corner. This is great. But yeah, this is going to be it for this episode. Uh, my plan is to do decoration in the next episode. So if you want to see how to do like little crazy decoration stuff. Oh, we're going to go in depth on that. Uh, a lot of this stuff is like, if you want to know how to get that, all I did was just put a foundation and then another one and then bam, that one there. I mean, just play with the stuff and you can just see. Oh, and then if you go upstairs, it's a uh, it's open. I put in some like little glass walls in here. Uh, we got this room. This is going to be a bedroom. OK, uh, we need to add a bathroom too. that's it. So I'm probably going to put like maybe a wall here and here, here, kind of grab me a door and then, yeah. And then maybe make this like the bathroom. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Ooh, that looks good. And then over here, we got the master bedroom. Which allows you to look at the front of the house and see who's coming in. Allows you to look at the side and everything. And that's going to be so cool. Maybe put the bed up against here. I don't even know. Although the real question is, should I switch this for a regular wall? Maybe put like a little like bathroom in here. Although this is where the doorway would come in. So you'd have to come in and... I, I don't know. I don't know. If you have any ideas, let me know. I'm definitely interested in how I can, like, increase the design aspect or add anything else to it because this house looks cool as all hell. Oh, I could add a bathroom under the stairway, too. Like, kind of put, like, a, a wall here, a wall here, a wall here, and then a doorway underneath here. Auto save complete. And then, yeah, even kind of like put this over here and have this like a uh, little shitter down here, <laughs> basically. Ah, uh, yes. So, yeah, I'll play around with that a little bit more and see what I come up with. Not bad, not bad. But yeah, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is going to be my new house area. I'm going to love this. Oh, and then the other part is going to try and figure out where do I want to put the hub? The hub has got to come over here somewhere. I'm thinking maybe this wide open area over here. And then do I build something for the space elevator over here? Ooh. 
Okay, that's a good question. Do I have the space elevator over here in the corner? Or do I get the space elevator? I uh, no, no. Space elevator goes with the base. The hub, on the other hand, the hub needs to be over here somewhere. Not on top of my house, though. No. <laughs> but that's going to be it for me today. I hope you all enjoy it. I hope you like the video and let me know what I need to do for this house. Because it is gorgeous and I can't wait to keep going. All right. Have a good one. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.